Okay, things just got a little bit more dangerous. Is it getting excited? No idea. I mean, I'm not bashing on Ed and Zero at all, but I am a little bit unsure where the story is actually heading. Granted, however, I'm still looking forward to more of the arcs that's going to happen in the future, but now we're really getting a new spin on the twist of it all, as we have an incoming danger heading towards them all, which seems to in imply that um, the saving of guilds is now going to become an escaping of guilds, and very soon. The only question is, can the team do it? Well, they are the main characters, so I will be kind of upset if they don't. This is the angry anime fan. Yes, this is darkness. You have to live with it. Think, think of it as an omnibus feeling. Well, in all seriousness, I'll just want to do this right now. It's angry anime fan, the despair of you, Eden Zero, chapter 23. As well, of course, uh, Shiki br brusted in. He immediately begins to give the smackdown on illegal. And it's actually uh, very satisfying to see him. However, a lot of uh, spoiler writers, no, not spoiler writers, those that are um, part of the spoiler network, you know, there's a bit stricter rules when it comes to spoiler now, but at, that's only so far in the YouTube community. After all, we don't know the future of my channel, but I'll, I want to say I'll burn that bridge when, when I come to it, but hopefully let's not come to it because I don't know how to solve it if it ever were to happen. My point is... That when Shiki started to uh, beat up that perverted frog, it uh, seems to uh, a lot of people seems to imply that well uh, uh, that well how how do I put this? Shiki surrendered to his emotions and became a living embodiment of rage. Uh, he mercilessly built beat up illegal and he did not stop until well uh, until uh, Pino did her EMPs thus shutting down the ether gear so uh, so well it's uh, it's just that a lot of people took very much issue with that and in a bit I did too, mostly because uh, I don't want to be reminded of Hunter x Hunter when I say that, because a lot of people compare that similar to the main character. And I'm just gonna be level with you all here. I hate Hunter x Hunter, and I hate all the main characters, except Leorio. But we're not talking about that manga here. Let's just say I hate it. So when they started to compare it to a main character that loses himself in rage, I immediately flew up myself in rage when they said that because I feel like uh, okay uh, uh, this sets off a little bit more no not set off this separates Shiki a little bit more from Natsu which a lot of people said he is based on yes Natsu himself from Fairytale you know is also a slave to his emotion but unlike Shiki he seems to have a lot more control than Shiki when Shiki attacked uh, illegal he he didn't hear a single word rebecca said so what i meant to say is he has been living alone on a mechanical kingdom where and his first human friend is rebecca and that friend as well as happy a mechanical friend uh his female friend was taken away from him kidnapped and happy was beaten bust up and you telling me he wouldn't lose himself in emotion like there but here we also have a nice callback. Pino is the one who stopped Shiki thanks to shutting down his ether gear. So it begins me to question. A lot of theories popped up here and said that why did Shiki lose himself in his motion like that? Is it because he's just that attached? Or is it possible that there might be a side effect in his personality? Granted, we don't know his past yet. So that made me think when I heard that theory. Is it possible that... Um, Pino was designed to stop Shiki in case anything happens. Because again, her EMP shuts down ether gears as well as other machines. So I'm just saying, there might be a chance that Pino is meant to really be the light of Ether gear. The light to guide back the Demon King should he fall down a path of depravity. Either way, Shiki has a perverted scene where he actually is interested in looking at, uh, well, you know, Rebecca's vagina. But later on, uh, the other girls are saved, 
And they all found different outfits, Halloween outfits, mind you. And we actually see a close se section that of the girls that are based on Mira Jane and uh, uh, Lisana. And note, their clothing are, <laughs> are exactly based on the kind of transformation they did to transform in Fairytale. Smooth here, Mishima. He is smooth. Although it's pretty, well, a lot of them do have nice, uh, well, outfits. Why is Rebecca the only one who's still having a towel? Well, I guess it is what it is. So, um, and the door was open thanks to e e Pin's EMP. So, uh, but then suddenly uh, the guy I always suspected would appear happen. And that is indeed Jin, who decides to clash with Shiki. As she, Jin proclaims that anyone who gets in the way of a... Uh, Logout is meant to be dead, he he will annihilate Shiki. But Shiki, of course, says himself, this is not a pulling punch either. Anyone who hurts my friends is dead, or I'm here to protect my team. So yeah, I just hope he doesn't lose himself too much in his rage. But a bad, but an angry Shiki, that was a badass image. Then we switch into the scene where I always suspected, where Homura has defeated all of the an androids, it turns out. Although Weiss backed her up when she went near the blindsided. And also, as a door is open underneath, suddenly Wise points her gun, no, his gun, at her, Homura, proclaiming, what are you really after? And uh, according to Wise, she is hiding something. Is that possible why she, he allowed her to enter the ship? Because, I mean, uh, yeah, Homura says, I'm on your side, but Wise says, I'm on nobody's side. Uh, well, that is wise for you. I'm not exactly so sure what kind of personality he is. Granted, his personality is very unique for a Hiromashima character. It's both a mixture of what you like and what you hate. He is uh, he is technically a nice character, he's just a jerk. But the thing is here, why is he questioning Homura? This Homura really is something we do not know of, or is it possible he's doing that out of safety of Shiki? Either way, Turns out that when he touched the ground, he created automatic g guns in the ground and immediately defeats Moscow, who has somehow infiltrated the place. You know, I expected that to happen. You know, I knew Moscow would uh, appear and I also suspected Wise to be the one to knock him out. But the fact that they knocked him out in one hit like that was actually pretty surprising. I guess we all got a little bit more uh, key to it all on that Wise is smarter than he looks. Yes, he is a gangster and yes and everything else, but he is also, but his future self was an engineer and a professor. So what I'm trying to say is, he knew Moscow was there and he remodeled the ground when even Homer didn't detect him. And even not even Homer detected the blind side that was about to happen. So is it possible that she may not be a very advanced samurai as we think? Well, she's still badass, but even Weiss has a moment to shine here. And granted, however, that one shot wasn't so surprising. It is always here on the Mishima style to do the one shot. And to be frank, Moscow was a disgusting person, so if he really was knocked out from that, it's all this more satisfying. The more danger here is now that Wise is pointing his gun at Homura. Are we gonna see a fight between them? Well, who knows? Well, I'm just a little bit worried. What we I expect. But Happy actually managed to awake, as uh, uh, which notes that Rebecca has been saved. But uh, even though Happy has been awakened, his function is not fully recovered. But the, but the chapter ends in despair as big amounts of warnings are heard within the Sakura cosmos. The witch looks at the monitor and we for a very brief moment see her eye in her viscers. Just and she sweats bullets as true despair is heading towards guilt. Because something is devouring planets as as it speaks, it already has been, de been devouring four. Yes, my friends, the chronophage is back, and it's on its way to guilt. It's noted here, though, that um, the witch proclaims it, it's a chronophage, which seems to suggest that it's more, that it exists more than one chronophage. Or really, is that the name of the creature, a chronophage, or is it a species? I mean, we already was implied that it ate uh, the previous planets uh, that Wise came from, it's time. And now we see a clear shot of it. And let me tell you, it actually looks a little bit cool. 
The first image of it seems to imply a very draconal shape, but the, but the second shape, well, I don't really know how to describe it. A mass of black stripes with a mouth. I guess that's how you say it. With pla with, and it's dragging planets along, or at least the planets are... Oh no, it's not dragging planets, it, it's passing through the planets. But yeah, this chronophages seems to really devour a planet like that. You know, what the, What was the first thing when I saw the chronophage the first time? I mean, when we mentioned it first. I immediately thought of Acnologia from Fairy Tale. Because it really just showed out, shot out Acnologia, an undefeatable enemy. And now it turns out it's even heading towards guilds. This battle of saving the B-Cubers just got a battle of now they need to get the hell out of here. The only question is, can they do it? The Coronafetch is heading towards guilds. So, I mean, I find it pretty sad fate of guilds. Granted, however, if guilds really, time really gets eaten and 50, time, 50 years in the past, then technically the criminality in guilds will be completely wiped out. I think that will do it a favor. However, it's worth noting that any planet that is eaten, any planet's time that is eaten by the Chronofetch do get a thick cloud, so even if the world is reset, you cannot visit that again because it's a very high chance you can't escape it. So yeah, there were some moments there. Uh, the girls having nice Halloween outfits, although I don't really understand why. Uh, they all been very kind to Rebecca. Jin appearing again, now uh, Shiki is really being serious. People wondering why Shiki is a slave to his anger. Illegal getting beat up. Wise wondering who Humerai really is. And finally the chrono fetch heading towards guilds. Yes, a lot of things are happening here. But I don't really know what to think. What do I think Humerai's really goal is? Well, I've always wondered if she is connected to the Eden Zero more than we think. She says her sword was passed on, was uh, passed on in order to defeat the Demon King. The witch recognizes the Ether Gear, so she knows a little bit what Homura may actually be. However, Wise was smart enough to also detect that. And also, Shiki's rage is that meant to be a plot point that Shiki can really be a slave to his emotions, or is it something else? And that Chronophage. Is that the final antagonist of this manga, if this manga is going to exist for at least over a hundred chapters or so? I mean, it's, the pacing is getting a little bit faster. It's making me a little worried. However, I can't deny that I want to know more. So give me your thoughts if you have any.